Hmm. Uh, Valkyrie, your guns. Hmm. Well, all right, whatever. Hey, hey! Overseer Barstow, I am here to assist. <laughs> Overseer Barstow, I am here to assist with your experiments. Uh, Zach is not joining me. You you didn't make a very good first impression on him. He thinks what you're doing may be unethical, but I'll assist. Please step forward. Okay. Oh, you mean them. Ah, right. uh, yes. Welcome. Hmm. Welcome. So, this here's a vault, right? Quite correct. And you could be one of our lucky new residents. You do got food in this vault, right? Of course. And a chance at a new life. A question or two first, however. What do you think is the role of a good government? Government? What the hell are you talking about? Not making a good first impression on her either, I see. Uh, yes, we'll get revenge on that person who killed your mother later. Not right now. Go. Meat Hook is going to get what's coming to him. Yes. Just you wait. Ye yes, just you wait your turn. We're doing this quest first. If she is representative of what's left above, the outside world must be rougher than I imagined. Yeah. Are you ready for the next interview? Why did you say that she wouldn't work as a test subject? Skeptics and cynics rarely produce good data. No, we need someone willing to cooperate. Blindly naive, got it. Welcome to Vault 88. This is a real nice place you have here. Real nice. And I can go wherever I like, right? Within reason, yes. But I have a question for you. Sure, sure. A hypothetical. Let's say the reactor core is melting down, and you're the only one who could stop it. Is there something wrong with your reactor? No, no, it's fine. Just pretend. So you can stop the meltdown. But you'd suffer from extreme radiation exposure. What would you do? Well, whatever you'd like. If you don't mind, I'm anxious to look around. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we should trust that guy. Listen, it's hell up there. If you really give me food and a place to stay, I'll be good. Just don't go expecting me to jump in a reactor for you. Hmm. Is that all you're here for? Food and shelter? It might be people like you making things terrible up there. As long as you guys are on the level, I'll give this thing a try. Honest. I appreciate your... candor. You can stay, but... you're not what we're looking for. Go ahead and get acquainted with your new home. What a... colorful gentleman. Mm -hmm. Clearly he won't work for our experiments. Here's hoping third time's a charm. Just for clarification, what specifically is wrong with him? Aside from the fact that he's obviously a raider. An obvious liar would invalidate any subjective responses we need from a test subject. No, he just wouldn't do at all. His behavior is understandable, though. It's pretty rough out there. You gotta look out for yourself if you're gonna survive. I certainly trust your instincts on this. Mine are, shall we say, rusty. Balding. From all the years of solitude. Next. Hello. Welcome to your new home. Wow. A real overseer. I, I, I am so happy to be here. Hi. My name is Clem. Uh, yes. Clem, is it? Before you settle in, I have some questions. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, sure. I, I, I'll answer anything you like. Well, uh, that's good. Here's a scenario. You've been assigned guard duty. You know, stand watch and make sure outsiders don't breach the perimeter. But from inside the vault, you hear a woman screaming. What would you do? You want me to guard something? Sure. 
I can do that. <laughs> I can do that right now, if you want. He's not But answering. I don't hear any screaming, lady overseer. People don't understand the concept of a hypothetical question. I, uh, thanks. I think? Another question for you. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. She called... She killed a mole rat once. Really? <laughs> uh, that's remarkable. Describe the traits you most admire about her. Well, she was strong because of the mole rat. And she, uh, uh, uh she... She fed me. God, I I'm sorry. Th this place is so much better than the ditch I was living in. <laughs> oh, God. Mole rat kill counts really are the solidest foundation for maternal affection. I guess? Am I doing okay? We're looking for a volunteer, Clem. Someone to test some new devices that will help everyone. Are you interested? You mean I can stay? I, 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 I mean, yes! I'll help out. I like helping. That's me, Clem. Always willing to help out. Yes. <sighs> I think you'll do nicely. And no time like the present to commence. Now that we have, um... God, your head is bumpy. Clem, we are ready to begin. The first step is to get him properly equipped and dressed. There should be supplies oh, in the welcome area near the entrance. Right, uh... Oh, probably in this area that's marked by a thing. Uh, yep. Yep, those are some suits, all right. So everyone put on some jumpsuits! This, these are really stylish. I mean, you can't be as stylish as me. Oh, oh, I can't see my legs. I got a red jumpsuit on. It's really stylish. You can go ahead and be jealous. It's fine. It's like really nice though. Like it, it, with the armor too. I mean, I don't care for this right arm. It's kind of garbage, but you know, the rest of it's really nice. I gotta say, I'm really happy with how it's turned out so far. All right, now that we got some lighting and we can see what we're doing. Our first vault residence. What a moment. But, on to business. Exercise is an inherently selfish activity. Well, Instead of using every hour, every minute, to further the goals of the community, we're sitting in the chair a proper? resident instead improves their body past the minimum requirements. Hmm. vault has devised a solution. The Power Cycle 1000. While you pedal, you provide raw power to the vault. A perfect answer to an inherently counterproductive practice. No, a society benefits from healthy citizens. So exercise is not inherently selfish. True, some short-term medical costs are mitigated. But exercise leads to longevity. Which extends how long the elderly drain the vault's resources. Oh, no, yeah? exercise overall is a societal ill we should and can cure. What's that, Mrs. 200-year-old lady? You don't think people that are old should be allowed to live? Very well. Jesus, boss. If you are so convinced exercise is good, then refine the power cycle to make it better. Moving on. The prototype is far from perfect. There were incidences during its R&D. Maybe even the stray cerebral hemorrhage. Uh, what? what? Overseer? Oh, Clem. Don't worry yourself. This model won't suffer from those defects. Oh, good. Well, probably. Let me download the schematic to your Pip-Boy. Build it, and attach a terminal to choose the parameters of the experiment. Work Clem hard. Give me power. Well, I gave you power. That uh, generator over there makes 500 units of power. I'm using a fraction of it to power about 100 streetlights. Power cycle prototype. There you go. Made a exercise bicycle. Now we hook it up to a terminal. Thank you all for walking two inches within my face, because you're all assholes. 
And we'll put a pommel horse there, because we're so focused on health, and a weight bench right there. That's all good, that's good. And whoever is on the exercise bike can watch a little bit of TV. There we go. And mental health is important too, so we'll put up a pride flag so everyone knows they're accepted here. Oh, looks like somebody's training. Yes, get ready to take on me talk. Yeah, gotta be in peak physical condition. You go, girl, you get it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this guy's real dexterous. Yeah, I'm glad we got him in our vault. Woo, look at him go. It's a madman. Can't actually use the computer. Right, the power of the computer? I might have to power the computer first. Which seems a bit ironic considering the bike's providing the power, but alright. Uh, power cycle experiment. By administering electric shocks when the subject's rotations per minute dip below acceptable levels, the amount of power generated can be increased. Voltage decreased by half after several failed experiments. See these two autopsies. Okay, okay. And keep a fire extinguisher nearby just in case. Yeah, all right, all right. Might want to take off the armor. It might. This is all there is to it? So I. I'll keep pedaling. This is. kind of fun. I mean, if it starts to shock you, you might want to jump off. Oh. What's that? <laughs> you smell that? I never smelled such a thing. Is that mute fruit? All this pedaling, there's a point to it, right? You having trouble? Didn't put the resistance up too high. Yeah, look at him go! Oh, he's getting into it. All right, you have fun working on the exercise bike. I'm gonna see how you're doing in an hour. Oh, jeez! Oh, Oh, no! Oh, you blew out my generator! What happened? I take a nap for one hour! Um, oh. Oh, Julian, no. I thought the parameters were safe. The power cycle appears to have generated an EMP. What the hell? Fascinating. Fascinating? A man is dead! Oh, oh, you're not dead! Oh, who the hell is Julian? Oh, all oh, right. Oh man, I'm sorry. I broke your vault. I, I just got so excited and I wanted to do a good job and I kept pedaling faster and faster. And then the whole vault went kablooey. Please don't kick me out. Oh, you did fine. Honestly, I forgot your name was Clem. Thought that was your body right there. An hour later, he's still going. The stamina on this man. Someone really should clean up these dead ghouls I'm though. So bored. I gave you the if you're TV. If you just going to spin your legs for an hour, the power cycle is pretty fun. Oh, okay. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. What if I gave you a little bit more motivation? Look at that. Wouldn't you want to impress a girlfriend? Why blue? I mean, would a yellow jumpsuit really be that bad? I. Do you want a yellow one? How about a motivational poster? You can do it. There you go. Hard work is happy work. Yeah! Little motivational poster. We got any more like that? Eat well, live well? There you go. Stay fit, stay focused. Yeah, good ones. Well, there you go, Clem. Motivational posters. I was posters. looking at the data for the power cycle. Oh. If I am reading the report correctly, you chose a lavender and vanilla aroma dispenser. I feel really relaxed. Yeah. This vault is the best. Ugh. Yeah, it's great, isn't You're it? engineering a new society, you know. Not some sort of day spa. My clothes still smell funny. <laughs> For the next experiment, <laughs> we'll need something from outside. vault subcontracted out chemical research to Hallucigen Incorporated. Oh, yeah. It was supposed to be delivered before. Well, before. The but... bombs dropped. Yes. With the mail service out of commission, other arrangements must be made. Tracking research down isn't gonna be easy. Make it worth my while. Oh, you probably don't have currency since you were trapped for 200 years. If you insist there's danger, then take these missiles. Lord oh, knows what I'd do with them. <laughs> Just get Just... that research. Once we have that, we can start the next experiment. 
Just, just straight up giving me missiles. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. You have fun, Clem. And, uh... <laughs> still going! You're still going! Ah. Hallucigen! We found it! That's a nice logo. All right, let's check it out. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building immediately. All right. Yep, we got raiders. I've got this one covered. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of you guys. You both will be fighting each other. Let me just. Uh... Yeah, that, that okay. I didn't actually kill you. Thought the blowback would kill you. I'm assuming the hallucinogenic chemicals are causing a, a frenzy effect. Hey, oh. Wow. Okay. Another gun, another cat. I, that's maniacal laughter. That is absolutely maniacal laughter. Yep. Yep, still some hallucinogenic chemicals in here. Not affecting me for some reason, not gonna question it. Hey! Sorry, nothing personal. Ah, oh, man, this armor really gets in my way. Unidentified intruder detected. Fugitive has been I keep on injuring myself when I reload my gun. Oh, I got that new right arm armor. The Ghoul Slayer's armor. Damn. Yeah, Zach picked this up a while ago, so currently have the painted metal right arm. Looks gross, is cumbersome, keeps on stabbing me when I reload. Provides 25 damage resistance, so I have been liking it. The Ghoul Slayer, <laughs> that's 100 damage resistance and 100 energy resistance. My oh my. Uh, yes please. We'll go with that. Up to 102 damage resistance on my right arm, my god. Guess whose right arm's never getting crippled. Oh, uh, it's not cumbersome in the slightest. I don't know what kind of armor this is, but I love it. Yep, that's that's real nice. All right, I got cables on my arm. Yep, keep on patrolling, robots. There sounds like there's still a lot of you to kill. Yep. Hostile target identified. <laughs> Should we just come back later after they've killed each other? Ah. Cubicles, fun stuff. Yeah, cubicles drive everyone crazy. No one likes to be treated like a lab rat. I'm gonna have to contact HR about this. This is very unbecoming behavior for our employees. You're not getting your performance bonuses. Yeah. You weren't getting your performance bonuses anyway, because then we wouldn't be able to record record-breaking profits for our shareholders. But th uh, we're gonna pretend it's your uh, fault this time. Uh, Welcome to the Hallucigen Labs oh. observation area. Please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and development. Oh yeah? Hallucigen's dispersant is ideal for peacefully clearing an area of civilians. Hallucigen is not responsible for any damage, injury, or loss of life sustained in mass panics that may or may not result from the use of dispersant. Well, they have... I was going to say they dispersed, but then they died. I don't know if the gas is intentionally killing people, or if it's just gone rotten after 200 years. Please, evacuate. Criminal scum? Do Don't it. get a gun. Try Hallucigen Suppressor, a safe, reliable, and effective way to paralyze even armored targets. Side effects may include the partial and or complete paralysis of the user, bystanders, small animals, and or large animals. Discretion is advised. Oh, hello. Gunner. Hey, the latest issue of Crab Punchers Weekly. I can't believe I found it. I'm so happy. My subscription lapsed, so I wasn't able to get this one. Yeah! Ow, oh, who's shooting at me? Aha! Aha! I see you! I see you! Hiding your stealth armor. Or maybe I'm losing my mind and shooting at nothing. Maybe I'm hallucinating, I can't tell. Alright, those bullets are real. They hurt enough. Ah, Vault 88 Chemical Research. That's what I was sent for. All right, we're back. 
Yep, he's still going. Yep, he's got stamina for days. Finally, Vault 88's work can truly begin. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. Vault-Tec scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to... socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good. With chemistry. What? I... Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clint. <laughs> you worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just special chemicals. <laughs> mm -hmm. Special, yes. Don't listen to her, Clem. Chemicals are what made her skin fall off. Maintaining Clem's trust isn't the focus of these experiments. Our collective welfare is. So build the soda fountain, and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, thanks. Okay, I will build the soda fountain. Let's put this right here in the middle of nowhere. Hook it up to the terminal again, and check it out. Soda fountain experiment. Appetite Suppressant, Mood Enhancer, Generic Caffeination. Hmm. All of these seem like good things to have. I think a Mood Enhancer would be real good. Well, maybe I should have read these research notes. Uh, extremely Psychoactive Compound, that's soluble in water. Oh, Short-Term Euphoria, nice. I w I'm not gonna continue reading what this paragraph says. I'm sure there's no ill effects. Glug, 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 glug. The soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. Not a bad job, manning the soda fountain. Ugh, it tastes... <laughs> it tastes funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make sure to come back. It's supposed to tick your tongue. Prickle the palate. Oh. Yeah, this vault's amazing. It's good, isn't <laughs> just it? Just great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, just great. It's so great, I don't even know what I'm saying. Neither do <laughs> I. All right, so it may kill a few brain cells, but ignorance is bliss, you know? And if it's making you ignorant, but it's making you blissful, that's a good trade off, some might say. All right. To think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Ah, it fills me with pride. On to the next prototype. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks. But that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. Yeah, I don't think I'm comfortable pulling a Tuskegee on these guys. Is that a twinge of misguided conscience? You should work on suppressing that. So? Enter the Voltec Foropter, a specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. But That's great! Potentially so much more. Nice! The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. Mm. But the results will be worth it. Should we just put you in there? You're probably 90% radioactive material. And we'll wire the optometry chair to the computer. All right, and then we'll... Okay, Logan is setting up the parameters for me. Just kidding, I'm doing it, get out of my way. 
subliminal messages, vault monitoring, or improved eye care. I think everyone would benefit from improved eye care. Yes. All right. Looks like we have our first patient. Yes. Did you sound less ominous? Before we begin, Clem, uh, how do you feel about children? Uh, they're all right, I guess. You ever planning on having any? I, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Hi, you here for an eye exam with the four... This thing? I guess. <laughs> Go ahead and get in. So, what do I do? Just stay still. So I just sit here? Yeah, yeah. The machine will do the rest. This thing's creeping me out. All done. It says you got, uh, a minor eye infection. Some eye drops will clear it up. Uh... Thanks. And that's it? Nothing else? No. Lady Overseer, exam's all done. How you feeling? I never had an eye exam before. It wasn't so bad, I guess. Why are you doing this stuff, anyhow? I'm trying to make the world a better place for you. After Clem going crazy on that damn power cycle, are you guys some sort of sickos? He wasn't going crazy. He was having a great time. Just like you two were having a great time after you had that soda. Nothing sinister is going on. Y you sure? I mean, that eye machine. All right. But I'm watching you. See? It's all about balance. Sometimes you mess with their head, and sometimes you legitimately improve their life. Hey. So one of our residents is happy. Yeah. That's completely irrelevant. We should be making hard choices to improve the effectiveness of the vault. Instead, you spend your time pandering to their every whim. I'm making smart tactical choices. If you always screw with their head, then they'll know they're being screwed with. You gotta keep them on their toes. This last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others, I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures, each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections and instead harnessed them? I have no idea what you're talking about. But she's going crazy over there. Oh, everyone's loving that thing. The vice in question is greed. The schematic is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters and let's see how it fares in the field. You want me to get people addicted to gambling? Ooh, great experiment. Ugh. All right. Got the slot machine up there, test the parameters. Note from Overseer Barstow. Gambling is alluring. Casinos throughout the country have spent millions to further refine its appeal. Yada, yada, yada. We could drain their bank account, just kind of manipulate the odds to always be in our favor. It's not too different from how a regular slot machine works. The machine itself could be a standard game of chance. But the machine is capable of identifying behavior and allowing the overseer to track those with degenerate behavior. Hey, customer profiling. Well, that's just Facebook. And if there's time for a control, that probability could be adjusted to maximize the returns, i.e. gamblers will win more often than not. Undoubtedly, this would prove popular and expensive, but the lost revenue parameter should only be chosen for A-B testing. All right, all right, we'll choose the Facebook option. Hey, second try, big winner! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! All right, you have fun gambling. I'ma take a quick nap. Don't blow that machine up too! Oh, yeah. oh I slept so well. Did you? I had a spring poke at me in the back the entire time. Probably because these mattresses are real old. Oh, jeez, you, were you watching us sleep? Get away from me, pervert. 
Hey. Let's check in with Clem. Oh, hi. Is the slot machine supposed to flash? Every now and again, I swear it makes a strange noise and flashes. You must be imagining things. A slot machine doesn't take pictures of people. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, hundreds of years of refining and planning. The results were mixed, but in science, you rarely wind up exactly where you were expecting. Boy. The lady overseer sure is smart. I just feel like everything she says makes sense. Yes, Clem. Good. <laughs> you should take another soda break. Yeah! <laughs> With my life's work done, I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. Uh, but, but, oh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> no. Uh, Vault 88 needs you and your guidance. We can't afford to lose our overseer. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone. Anyone I've ever met, in fact. Sentiment shouldn't matter in this calculus. But somehow, it does. I will stay. And together, we will make Vault 88 a beacon of hope. For the future. I mean, I, I probably won't stick around for very long, but every once in a while I might stop on by, making sure Clem's all right, making sure you haven't killed anyone. You know, yeah, this is a great place. This is a nice little base, and I'm sure you'll continue to improve it while I'm gone. You okay, buddy? Why are you, no, you must be injured, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're injured. No, uh, you've been using the pommel horse too long, haven't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep.